G'day Carbonites, welcome back to Space Engineers Survival, maybe. So in the uh, short little uh, showcase at the start, you would have noticed that there's quite a few changes to the base. So I did a little bit, little bit of uh, decorating, putting some signs up, um, which is something I really wanted to to get done. And uh, yeah, I think it, uh, I think it turned out really nice. So we've got the uh, the bay code uh, in front of the bays, plus there's signs pointing to all of them, and then there's just a little description of what ships are inside. And uh, when you're exiting, it tells you which direction the elevator is in. Um, because we actually have another row. So I finished all this off and we've got another three bays. So these are all the uh, left side bays. Wyvern's in the first one there. And uh, these last two are empty. L2 and L3. And for each one, I built a little maintenance door to get inside to the... Uh, inside to the uh, lift mechanism. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do that is because I was sick of drilling holes in the wall to get in behind there. So each bay has one of those uh, maintenance uh, maintenance doors and it's labeled as well so I know which one's which. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go downstairs now and uh, something else I want to show you. So when it uh, comes to the elevator now, it actually tells us what floor we're on, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and I wanted it to change, so I got a script that will uh, change the text. So if we go down to the first floor, the text disappears. And basically it's tied into when the door opens that the text shows up. So I thought that was pretty cool. It'd be nice to have some sort of animation to um, like signify that the elevator is moving in a certain direction, but it was too complicated for me to uh, set up with uh, with that script. So I just left it. Uh, and then I finally finished the, the end of this uh, tunnel off. Um, I just got some oxygen generators in there uh, just to add like a little bit of uh, like a... I don't know, a uh, functioning block in there just for a bit more detail. And then we've got signs up. Obviously these ones are just, they just go to a, a rock wall. But I'm, this is what I'm planning to put on that side. So that's going to be the entrance to the garage. We've got the warehouse on this side. These signs are an absolute godsend <laughs> because all these entrances look exactly the same to me. So I was always getting confused on where the uh, medical room was and all that sort of stuff. So... It's a lot better. Uh, the assembly room is going to be a shortcut to the assembly room down that way. And the refinery room, hopefully we can get uh, something set up. I'm just sort of guessing, like uh, judging by where our refinery and assembly room is located, I think these will be the best um, ways to get there. But we'll find out. Um, okay, and then I finally fixed this up. So this is now mirrored on both sides. We got rid of that stupid conveyor. So this is fully enclosed now, which is good. Goes all the way down to the server room, which is getting a little bit uh, crowded. I had to get rid of the path that was here because I needed more room. And I believe I extended this out, yeah. I extended this out one more wall. <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to do something that I've been putting off for a very long time and that's rework the, the, the front of the base. So we're going to get rid of this hole and uh, just redecorate it. I've got something special in mind. Now I've only got a, a um, like just a rough idea of what I want to do to this. So what I'm going to do is just build it um, to show you what do I what I want to incorporate, 
and then hopefully I can get some ideas from you guys to make it better because what I've got in mind is is pretty bland and boring but I'm hoping you guys will have some really good ideas so let's get started and uh, start stripping this place down We've got one issue with removing that uh, cargo container that was here and that's I've got uh, no easy access closest is going to be in here so that's something I'd like to rectify although what I've got in mind um, it's not going to be viable to have a cargo container inside the uh, entrance to the base and that'll be more apparent later on. So I, I think this shape is more in line with what we're doing with the rest of the base. So we're going to make this work, I think. grab some girders and some bulletproof glass okay I think um, we're gonna go up again another floor Actually, that's probably gonna go anyway actually what if instead of doing that we do this so we get a, a little bit more shape on the inside and then we can change over to this that's in the wrong spot Another set of sloped windows. Oh, one more bulletproof glass. <laughs> it's always the way. There we go. This antenna is going to go for now as well. Of course. That's all good to go. Alright, now we need to make a solid wall here. So I need a fair bit of ceiling space for this to work. Which is why we stripped everything. And extended up another floor. I think what we'll do
just for now. I think we're just going to make this nice and simple. So we'll go with the open doorway. If you guys come up with a better idea later on, we can definitely change it. All right, that looks good. Now we need four blocks tall. So we're gonna have to put another one on here. I think we'll just, uh, just go with a two by one slope there for now. This section here, um, yeah, let's do this, switch over to these ones, like a little awning over the top there yeah i think that looks good we'll just get rid of these replace those with these ones smooth out that transition a little bit oh yeah um there's no entrance now What if we made the entrance in the battery room? I mean, it doesn't really make a great deal of sense, but... Yeah, I think that could work. Okay, and then um, possibly... A double staircase, maybe. If it all let us. Yeah, like that. Might have to go with the single block. this one there we go it's pretty good can we get up here oh no okay so there's a little lip there but everywhere else is nice and smooth. There is grass growing through our stairs. Uh, there's also grass inside our battery room as well, which um, I really don't like now because this is the main entrance. We're going to be <laughs> we're going to be seeing that a lot. So I think we might have to risk it. All right, I'm just going to do um, a couple of left clicks. I'm not going to try to dig out too much because I really don't want it to go past the, the window. I just want to get rid of that grass. That might have been too far. Yeah, it's a lot better. 
let's uh, have a look outside, make sure we didn't dig too far. Oh, it's pretty good. Yep, pretty good indeed. All right. And we need a door. Yeah, I think that'll do. Like I said, we can we can change it later if uh, you guys come up with a better idea. Oops. Um, that block was very much needed. Okay, first of all, let's get a light in here. Which we need construction components for. And actually on that, we're going to be replacing the LCD panel. So what do we need for those? Bulletproof glass, displays, computers, interior plate, all the stuff, basically. And we have a drifting pursuant inbound. It's all right, the uh, turrets will take care of it. Uh, yeah, let's just go max range for now. Just so we can get some light in here. There we go, that's better. Um, okay, so. LCD panels. I'm going to go jet black for these. Okay, I think that's, I think that's everything accounted for. Ah, uh, we do need... Actually, what we'll do is we'll color those as well. Put a light there and a light there. So they're going to be the battery lights that we had over here. Sadly, I won't have enough room to do the text as well. But if I can at least get the light in, it'll um, make it a lot easier. That one's for the battery status. So let's um, let's set that up now. There it is. Oh, damn. Uh, we are going to have to replace the battery. Alright, so that's all good. Um, let's get a few more of these set up. So this one... I forget what I need to call this. This is for the inventory manager. This is the auto crafting. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't really need to read that anyway. All right, let's get these ones set up. This is LCD cargo. So this is um, a part of the inventory viewer script. This is how I was getting the the uh, inventory status of both the um, refineries and the assemblers. Okay, make this a little bit brighter. Custom data. Okay, so I actually had a tip given to me to, um, save all of these in a text document so I can just paste it in and it's all set up ready to go. So there's the refinery group all done, done in my colors and everything. It's perfect. Let's do this one. There we go, there's the assembler group. Perfect. Okay, perfect. 
So we've got all our ingots and uh, it also displays ore if we have any as well. And then we've got all our components there as well. So that's all of those done. Now I have a uh, sort of a surprise for this middle section. So I'm going to cut here and we'll come back when I'm done. All right, and there we go. So that was the that was the plan. Showcase all my Patreon supporters somewhere in the base. Now I think it turned out really nice. I I like it. Um, now the reason why it's in here with all these uh, all these uh, like data scripts and everything is I wanted to be able to showcase it anytime we view that. So I put a camera set up, so no matter where we are in the base, we can just um, like connect to it and we can see our battery status on the left there and we can see all our inventory on the right and it shows off all the Patreon supporters whenever we do that, which I thought was really cool. Um, so yeah, um, special shout out to my Patreon supporters who have been through... Uh, been with me through uh, quite a lot. I appreciate all you guys. Looks good. Alright, so, um, this is it. <laughs> Help me fix this, guys. Now that you can see what I wanted to do and why I needed so much space, how can we, uh, detail this side and the outside as well because the outside's pretty terrible I mean the the front looks good I'm I'm happy with the front but as soon as you see this side of the <laughs> god it's terrible all these blocks need to be here as well because they're um part of the staircase that goes down so I need to keep all those and same with that block there, so I don't know, I need to add stuff to it. Even if I extend this out and make this another room or something, or another entrance, I don't know, something. We'll come up with something, for sure. But anyway, that is, uh, that is going to do it. It took me... A lot longer than I thought to do this. So hopefully I, I cut out uh, a lot of it. I don't want this video to be too long. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to lead your targets. And I'll see you next time.